Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. What if we could tie together dozens, hundreds, or thousands of solar systems, energy storage systems, and perhaps even EVs into a connected network that would respond quickly to satisfy peak electricity grid demand and avoid brownouts? We can, and these networks are called virtual power plants. I'm Dwayne Caldwell, uh, co-founder and CEO of Inspi Technologies, where we're helping uh, manufacturers and high energy users reduce their energy uh, and turn those reductions into revenue by participating in demand response and grid events. Dwayne Caldwell had a solar business, and three years ago, he decided to start Ensupai to help companies save money on energy and network them together as a virtual power plant. Uh, what Inspi really does is we aggregate uh, energy sources from uh, businesses uh, on the curtailment side. So uh, when there's a grid event, uh, if the grid needs 50,000 kilowatt hours, we will call on our manufacturers to reduce uh, that energy uh, as a curtailment and we deliver it to the grid uh, during peak demand. So we use a uh, AI platform that help those customers reduce, then track it, and then help optimize the operations for those specific events. It all starts with an analysis of a company's energy use, monitoring of their energy use, and an inventory of their energy generation and storage resources. Uh, ultimately, our goal is a 20 to 30 percent reduction uh, in uh, consumption for our customers. Uh, and depending if you have uh, energy assets on site, generator storage, uh, you can see upwards of about 50,000 for uh, the smaller manufacturers a year in participation into the market. Uh, so uh, it's essentially a win-win for you. You're already uh, shooting to reduce your energy. Why not make some money from it while you're doing it? Research has shown that virtual power plants can provide electricity to the grid at rates 40% cheaper than peaking power plants. And this is just the beginning. And the great thing about uh, VPPs is it's projected that uh, by 2030, we can save uh, ratepayers rate payers $60 billion uh, in uh, energy costs uh, based off of not needing to upgrade certain elements of the grid because we're uh, utilizing the existing uh, energy uh, and uh, kind of that uh, efficiency piece. As hundreds of thousands of solar systems, battery systems, and EVs are added to the grid, the ability to manage these distributed systems is essential. But you can't just do this anywhere. You need policies that support aggregators like end supply, deregulated markets, and things like time of use pricing. We're seeing uh, like uh, California uh, is has a pretty uh, solid program and market that they're um, really uh, implementing right now, uh, as well as Texas. Uh, so, uh, and then obviously the uh, Northeast area. So uh, that is where we really see uh, a lot of support for this uh, on both uh, the implementation of storage and incentivizing of storage uh, assets uh, to respond to a lot of these events, uh, as well as just the deregulation of uh, energy markets. Uh, ultimately, our goal is to use some of these manufacturers as uh, site hosts uh, for storage assets. There's a lot of uh, rebates and programs out there to get storage uh, on the grid uh, for these events. So we're helping these companies uh, take action and really realize uh, some of those uh, incentives. And then ultimately we'll be tying those networks together uh, as a uh, almost replacement to Peaker Plant. Caldwell's company Ensupai is a startup in a space that seems destined to grow exponentially. It just makes sense. The companies he works with save energy and even make money by managing and aggregating their energy assets through Ensupai's virtual power plant. Subscribe to our podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.